Matthew 2, we're talking about this Herod found in the book of Acts. And it says, Herod uh, was vexed certain of the church. So Herod had killed James with the sword. We think when you kill somebody with the sword, first thing you think of is stabbing and jabbing or slicing and dicing. But the way Herod killed James was just cruel. He had his men to go out there and find a hollow tree. Stuff James inside this hollow tree. And cut James in the middle. Cut him. And, and that's how he killed him. Ain't no coming back. One piece over here, one piece over there. And he saw that that pleased the Jews. Why would the Bible say it pleased the Jews? Uh, he saw that that pleased the Jews because Herod, uh, uh, he was half Jew. And his, you know, his mother was Jewish, but he had some half breed in him, so the Jews would not accept him. And he always wanted their acceptance, but he could never get their acceptance. And when he finally saw that this pleased them by killing James, he said, oh, boy, I'm on the road now. So, so now I know how to please him since I killed James. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go arrest Peter and put him in prison. But one thing he underestimated, he underestimated the power of prayer. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Y'all praying with me. And not only the power of prayer, because the church just didn't pray one time. If you read the Bible, verse 5, it says, they pray without ceasing. Good God Almighty. That means a constant prayer. That means an ongoing prayer. That means, um, you, ever, you ever murmur? You ever, I tell you what, have you ever got out your, your car and the last song you heard in your car, you find yourself listening and singing that song while you're at work? Yeah. Just ongoing. Yeah. Every time you turn around, you keep on hearing that song. You say, why? Why you keep on singing that song? And I will, it's just stuck in my head. And that's what God wants us to do. Get, get, get it stuck in your head and continue to talk to him day and night. Meditate on the words day and night. Talk to him day and night. And the Bible says the church prayed without ceasing. And the first thing Luke lifts up out this text is the church, good God Almighty, responds to the crisis. The record revealed that the church was praying. Notice, if you would, they wasn't arguing about who's going to get a chicken plate. Who's going to get a roast beef plate? Yeah, yeah. Who's going to be the next president? You know, who's going to be, yeah, in charge of the ministry? Who's going to get to sit on the third row and sit on the fifth? No, nah, they wasn't they weren't arguing about who parked in their parking spot. They were coming together to pray. Y'all praying with me? Yeah. In other words, good God of mine, in crucial situations, they took their minds off the problem and they handed their problem to the problem solver. Oh, good God of mine. 